If you've never failed before, you are not human because failure is part of life. And when you fail, you pick up from that spot. Try something new and triumph again, but in the case of the Starship, failure is understood as success because for a rocket that has been in development for over a decade with the dream of sending it into space to clear its launch pad and finally flew in the atmosphere is a miracle. Before the Starship launch, Elon Musk gave a hint saying that failure is expected, but excitement is guaranteed Elon's statement is just like a prophesy that came true. Even when the Starship was exploding, SpaceX workers and enthusiasts were seen laughing and cheering up during the blasting process. This doesn't mean that everyone was happy to see the Starship explode, but taking its first flight and clearing its launch pad calls for celebration. What is the real secret truth behind the Starship explosion on April 20th, and what does space scientists and astronauts say about Starship first flight? Let's find out in today's episode of Tech SpaceX. A fine shiny stainless steel machine came to an ugly end on April 20th when SpaceX's sleek, silvery, 40-story tall Starship blasted itself in an orange and white fireball just 4 minutes after launch and 39 kilometers above the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Texas. The single launch raised eyeballs all over the world and attracted a lot of dignitaries to congratulate SpaceX's new gift to the world. Even NASA's administrator Bill Nelson congratulated SpaceX, saying every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk, because with great risk comes great reward. Looking forward to all that SpaceX learns, to the next flight test, and beyond. Remember that NASA already awarded a $2.9 billion contract for the first human landing of the Artemis program, a mission known as Artemis II that is scheduled for 2025, but NASA revised the contract in November 2022 to allow a modification that will demand another $1.15 billion to SpaceX to continue the development of Starship and ordered services to ferry astronauts to the moon for Artemis IV. Hence, with the Starship first flight, Bill Nelson has developed a strong confidence that SpaceX has what it takes to successfully transport NASA's astronauts to the moon. To chime in, calling the explosion no big deal shouldn't be a surprise, because crashes and explosions are unavoidable scenes of the rocket design. As much as SpaceX uses the fly-and-fail approach, launching the Starship pretty helps identify problems before it will start carrying payload or crew, making the vehicle more reliable and much safer. A Twitter user with the handle at a right form made a discouraging comment saying, This wasn't calculated risk. This was rushed. This was careless. According to the Twitter user, and that's a truth because SpaceX actually rushed the test, although they did some static fire test, but each test didn't last up to 5 seconds since Elon Musk always scare himself away from anything that will lead to explosion. Absurdly misplaced ignorant jubilation tweeted at Clarecasol in response to media outlets in the UK. Echoing Nelson's positive spin. But whether the Starship explosion was a successful failure as some have nicknamed it to be, the causes of what made the rocket blast in flames still needs to be sorted out. That question must be answered soon, if SpaceX hopes to launch another Starship in future SpaceX boss Elon Musk had hinted that the next flight will be a success and Starship will demonstrate its first space flight round the Earth. Unfortunately, the FAA is not happy with the way the Starship released ballistic debris which traveled and spread around the company's neighborhood. The FAA prioritized the safety of residents around the company's neighborhood, and that cannot be compromised. And that command the fierce move by the FAA to temporarily ground the entire fleet of the Starship. And from the FAA's intent, an anomaly occurred during the ascent and prior to stage separation resulting in a loss of the vehicle, the statement read in part. A return to flight of the Starship and Super Heavy vehicle is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the mishap does not affect public safety. The FAA's intent clearly shows that the FAA will require SpaceX to take a deep dive into the debris that spread out from the Starship during its brief flight. This much is clear, of the 33 engines that power the rocket's first stage, flight video reveals that at least two failed to fire during the static fire test and the engines were ignited with the rocket anchored to the ground, 31 of the 33 worked as planned. The rest were damaged. That may be true, especially when you have pieces of concrete beneath the launch mount flying and hitting the Raptor engine that was damaged before the full launch. 
If had it mean the Starship's engines worked as planned, the first stage would have separated and fallen back to Earth during the first three minutes of the flight, leaving nine engines on the second stage to carry the rest of the spacecraft to space. Instead, it was at that point that the rocket went into an uncontrolled tumble and struggle that lasted for a minute. At the end of the one-minute struggle of the Starship, the rocket blew up. Surprisingly, the explosion itself was not an accident. SpaceX made a post shortly after the incident announcing that it is the Flight Termination System FTS, a self-destruction mechanism to prevent danger to people or structures on the ground that destroyed both stages of the rocket. SpaceX didn't reveal that the FTS was triggered automatically by the out-of-control tumbling or whether it was manually activated from the ground. But at the end of the day, Starship didn't launch alone. It was remotely equipped with an FTS. Indeed, the FAA is investigating the last Starship launch, and it requires evaluation of the system and all rockets before it will allow them to fly again. The loss of the rocket itself was not the only harm that happened that day. The launch pad also suffered serious damage as bowling ball-sized chunks of concrete were broken loose and flew around from the force of the engines that did ignite. As the New York Times, Texas Public Radio, and others reported that buildings around the area shook, at least one window shattered, and a cloud of sandy debris rained down on the residents and their homes. According to one of the residents, Sharon Almaguer, it was truly terrifying, and explained that other SpaceX launches from Boca Chica have caused some rumbling in the town, but this was on a completely different level. It is a classical SpaceX successful failure, said Garrett Reisman, an astronautical engineering professor at the University of Southern California who is a former NASA astronaut and is also a senior advisor to SpaceX. Reisman described Starship test flight as a hallmark of SpaceX strategy that sets Musk's company apart from other competitors and even NASA by this embracing of failure when the consequences of failure are low. Even though that rocket costs a lot of money, what really costs a lot of money are people's salaries. He said SpaceX saves more money in the long run and takes less time to identify and correct engineering flaws by taking more risks and actionable testing during the development process rather than keeping the large team working for years and years trying to get it perfect. Guess is referring to NASA here, because NASA, operated by taxpayers' money, will choose to develop its rocket and place it in a perfect condition before carrying out any form of test, and even when they finally decide to do the test, a glitch always occurs before the rocket will lift off, and that's a setback that always put NASA on its knees, and getting into orbit seems to be a hard nut to crack. SpaceX is not pretending to prove her solutions to all of the problems that arose on April 20th, and right now, to bounce on another Starship prototype and repairs like the one the company is doing right now is slow and a painstaking affair. And considering these critical questions, why didn't the Starship booster separate as planned? Why did a few engines fail on the booster phase? What will be done to mitigate launch area damage on future missions? These are all good questions, but shockingly, second stage of the rocket didn't even get a chance to fly. So, there is no way of knowing yet if there are design flaws that frustrated the separation process within it. And to serve our curiosity right, it will be revealed only on subsequent tests after the problems in the first stage are rectified. For now, SpaceX is keeping its head down, trying to solve its problems, make its repairs, and satisfy the FAA, which holds ultimate authority on future Starship flights. Still, all we've got to hope for is that Starship has a bright future. Do you think that next Starship flight will also end in explosion? While Elon gets everything is ready, take a look into how it will be living inside SpaceX Starship for first trip. Just click on the video on the screen.